Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and I'm with Live, Craft and Love. If you are new, welcome and thank you for joining me. Today I am here with my day 13, my last and final project of these 13 days of Halloween craft series that we have been doing. I have so so, so much fun doing this and bringing all these projects to you guys. And I want to say thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for following me along, following me along in this journey. Um, this is the first time I've ever done this. 13 days full of projects is a lot of work, but it was fun. I learned so much more about myself as a crafter. I learned what styles I liked, what styles I had difficulty with. So yeah, um, it's one of those things where it was... It was fun because I was providing people with projects and ideas, but at the same time it was fun because I was learning more about myself as well. Uh, so I want to say thank you, thank you for, you know, for joining us on this. And do not forget to visit my colleagues and my friends, dear friends, Rosa Kelly from Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking and Ms. Robin Pitts from Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Uh, don't forget, visit their channel, subscribe, like, and comment on their videos, y'all. We are going to be giving our giveaway pretty soon, and we will be announcing our winners soon since this is the last day. So please, 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 if you haven't done so, go ahead and go to all the videos. Like, subs like comment, subscribe, please. Um, each one of us will be giving away two items from the things that we have made, or if you're international, we will be giving away a $25 credit to our PayPal account. Um... So yeah, just thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you have done, all the comments that you've posted. I absolutely love them. Seeing them at work throughout the day pop up, it, it just makes me so much, feel so good, guys. All this encouragement, you know, we sometimes need it, and it, it was um, it was amazing. So again, thank you. Now, let me go ahead and stop rambling and bring you guys the last project. Now, the inspiration for this project was the fact that a lot of us out there don't have these expensive and neat uh, die cutting machines or crickets or silhouettes or cameos or whatnot and or some of us don't have time to actually do it we have the materials we have the tools but we don't have the time and that's sometimes what I run into um, as a teacher like I run out of time I have so many ideas up my sleeve but I don't get to do them and it's because of time so I was at the Dollar Tree the other day and I ran by these treat boxes that were already pre-cut pre-made pre-scored and they were amazing and the ones i'm talking about are these these i believe they're usually found in like the wedding section of dollar tree <clears throat> and you get 12 of them for a dollar that is like a steal so i looked at them i was like oh they're not black um but i took them anyway and you know what i worked with it and i made a little thing happen so hopefully you guys enjoy this it did not take long whatsoever to make a box so if you want to make these for like your student your child's classroom or your grandchild's you know class classmates for your co-workers this is something that will definitely not break your pocket and it is quick and easy so that's the reason why i chose this project it is small um i wanted to end with the bang but what better way to end with the bang than to save on money and be able to provide a lot of our families and friends with something very handmade and, and um, coming from the heart so anyway so what I went ahead and did is I altered these little boxes into little Halloween treat boxes so I mean they have candy look at this deliciousness inside y'all candy I mean not candy but chocolate chocolate is my jam like I love chocolate I can eat it every day I know it's bad for you so when I try and restrict myself it's really hard sometimes especially when students bring you all these little goodies you know on Halloween or your birthday or Christmas you can't say no you can't say no to the kids <laughs> so it, it you know I run into problems but anyway um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sh tip these over so I can show you the front side or actually you know let me just hold it and on the inside, if you can see, they have the little black and orange crinkly paper that you also find at the Dollar Tree. In the front, I matted all four sides with design paper. And now I did use the Midnight Manor, I think it's called one of the uh, design papers I picked up from Hobby, uh, from Hobby Life, from Michaels. Um, so here I matted the front and the back with the same and the two sides with the same. And I just decorated the front. This is a little cut apart from the 6x6 collection. Two stickers from the Dollar Tree. I added three bling pieces to the ghost's face. 
and another piece, big piece of bling. Now guys, all of this can usually easily be found at the Dollar Tree. The bling, the stickers I got there, you know, everything except the design paper, and I've even seen some people on videos find that at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, I know Target has them too. So yeah, that's pretty much all I did, guys. The rest of it, I just inked the edges with Tim Holtz Black Soot Distress Ink, and I matted, and that's it. No big deal. The bottom's not even taped. It just comes together. How easy is that? Now, the next one, same thing. Back and front have the same design paper. The sides have the same. Now, this one I did wrap with... Uh, Halloween ribbon that I picked up again at the Dollar Tree. It has this pretty cute little paper studio sticker bow. Again, a Halloween cat sticker from the Dollar Tree and a gem. And that's it. Literally took me about two minutes to put together. And the last one again, this is a cut apart that I fussy cut out, wrapped it in ribbon. The front and the back are the same design paper and so are the sides. And here is the witch sticker and a little like a wax sticker that I've been using on some of my projects. And of course, crinkly black and orange paper. And that's it. Isn't that cute? Like seriously, even from the top, these things look stinking cute and adorable. I can easily see me doing these for all of my coworkers, uh, my teammates, my principal, the secretaries, you know, because everybody needs a little chocolate in their life, especially during Halloween, guys. So yeah, these are the last project that I'm bringing to you. Now I am going to go ahead and assemble one of these with you on camera. So let me go ahead and put these off to the side. And you're going to need one of these treat boxes from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to, I already pre-cut my mats, but I will be giving you the dimensions for them. And the dimensions for them, you, for, you're going to need two that are two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And two that are two by two and three quarters. And that's it. Four little pieces. And you can easily make two of these boxes using one six by six sheet. So here I already have pre-cut my design paper. I have my two by two by two and three quarters by two and three quarters and my two and two two by two and three quarters. And here is my glue. And literally all I'm gonna do is start matting. So I'm gonna add my art glitter glue. I did ink the edges on these pages. And you need to make sure that you see right here is a score line. Make sure that you don't go over it. That's why I have those measurements of two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And the same thing on the bottom. Do not go over that score line because then it's going to be difficult to, you know, to, to bend and fold. So I mat one large, whoop. You see, that's why my, if you notice, my background is torn up and beaten i think i need to go ahead and buy a new background already because i always drop my design paper when it has its glue on okay so there you go one side and one side then i'm going to flip it over and do it again there's that Okay, very simple, very easy. Now I am going to just simply fold on these creases and bend it this way, bend it this way, just so that way it can get its you know shape. These pieces right here, you're going to fold inward. And you can use your bone folder if you want. I honestly don't know where mine is at the moment, so I'm just using my finger. No big deal. Fold it in. Make sure it's nice and creased. Fold it in. And fold it in. Just like so. Now these literally just come together. Like, sorry, I don't know if I'm in frame or not, but all it is is it folds some way or another in, in, just like that. I hope I got that on camera. So there you go, and that's it. Now all I'm simply gonna do is decorate. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna, just to make it faster, I'm gonna plug in my glue gun. 
So in, that way I don't have to wait for the art glitter glue to dry. And I think I'm going to put like this little gold bow and I love this gold trim right here. So I think I'm gonna wrap this around, the gold trim all around. And I love, this is my last glitter spider from Walmart. Since they're spider webs, I like incorporating the spider on it too. So I think I'm gonna tuck in those legs like that, maybe. Nah, I'll just put the bow up here, put the spider just like so on top of the gold. And then add, of course, a little bling. And you're done. So hopefully, I think this thing is already ready. This is a sticker, but I always like putting, no, it's not ready yet. I always like putting the adhesive, like extra adhesive on there because I don't want it to, um, to come off. But yeah, I really hope that you guys have been enjoying this little, you know, 13 day series. Um, I'm definitely going to try and do something like this for Christmas on either on my own or in collabs with somebody else. We haven't really discussed it just, just yet. Oh, there you go. Um, but yeah, for Christmas, Christmas is my favorite holiday, like, ever. So definitely I'm going to try and do something like this for Christmas. Okay, so... Just like so... bring it here now the other ribbon that I did wrap around I did not use a hot glue gun I used my art glitter glue but of course it, it takes a little while longer than hot glue gun to to um to dry so I don't want to take that time off in the camera so this works too and then once you've gone all the way around you get your scissors and you trim it you're done now to glue the spider, and I don't know whether to glue it sideways. I think I'm gonna do it that way, sideways. And this one, I'm going to add the glue right here at the base. Hopefully it's hot enough. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting if I'm in frame or not. So focused on getting this done correctly. Okay, so then I'm just going to push some press pressure inside the box and on top. Just like so. And I am going to add, I don't know if I should add orange or I should add the clear. Hmm. I think I'm going to do orange. An orange bling piece there an orange bling piece on the bottom and a smaller one. And a lot of these blings you can even find at the Dollar Tree guys. So there you go. That's it. All that's left is to add some of the crinkly paper. Just like so. Mix it up. Well actually I usually do this. I mix up the paper on the table just so that way it's evenly distributed. Yes, I know I'm OCD. Sorry. Sometimes it's just, I just have to. And then you just stuff your candy in there and you're done. How simple was that? And you can use anything, stickers, uh, ephemera, you can use buttons, anything on here would work. So thank you so much guys for watching this. I really hope you enjoyed this video among also the rest of the videos that we have been bringing to you. Thank you, thank you so much, like I said again, for sticking around for the 13 days. You have no idea what this means to us, especially me. I mean, I just started my YouTube channel in July and I'm loving it. So thank you so much guys for tuning in. Uh, do not forget to visit Rosa and Robin's um, channels uh subscribe like and comment and as always live passionately craft often and love endlessly we'll see you guys next time bye now big hugs